Good morning guys and welcome to what is probably going to be a very chaotic vlog. Um, for a start I'm starting this at half five on a Saturday morning. Um, it is the most beautiful morning though. I don't know if it, it's picking it up but it is gorgeous this morning. I've actually been up since half three because um, we're actually house sitting, well farm sitting, for my parents for the next 10 days. So as you guys know, um, my parents go away to Portugal quite regularly, which means that me and Chris farm sit. Um, if you don't know, we don't actually live at the farm with my parents where the horses are kept. We have our own house um, and I just come here every day anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we are actually staying at the farm for the next 10 days and looking after all the horses, all the animals, all the dogs, everything um, is all down to us. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of farm content for you over the next few weeks. Um, but I thought I'd do a weekend vlog because not only have I got a farm to run um, and all the horses and animals to look after, I'm also competing both days this weekend, um, which was possibly not the best planning on my behalf. Um, I'm just going to put the dogs in so we can go let the chickens out. Doggies, in. Separate them so that Bolto doesn't eat my dog. Bolt, this way, that way. They're normally really good together, but you know, you just like, come on, in. Good boy, Ted. Come on. Good boy, come on. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot. I've been up since half three this morning. I think I'm going to be up at like five tomorrow um, because it's an early start for the event. So, there may be a lot of rambling in this vlog. If so, I apologise, but you love it really. <laughs> I get attacked by bugs. Um, it was like 27 to like 28 degrees yesterday. I'm hoping today's not going to be quite as warm because it was very, very warm. Um, so today Snip actually has a dressage competition, which I'm really looking forward to. It's like the first dressage competition she's been to in about a year. Um, so looking forward to that. We've got that at like 10. I think I need to leave here about 9-ish um, and then tomorrow Percy has got a one day event at Buckminster it's a pony club unaffiliated because we don't have any being on and I just needed to take him out to something because we've not evented in so so long um, but yeah so god let all the chickens out anyone who has seen any of my farm vlogs before knows this is my least favourite job of all of the jobs um, I am not a chicken fan, but I'm going to go let them out now, and then see to the other animals. The pigs are already out and snuffling at me. Good morning, that's a friendly cockerel. I will not be hanging around to turn this one out. Is it over here, Pickle? Yes, we've been rearranging, have we? Let's move this back where it's meant to be, shall we? There you go. We're in for a warm one again today, guys, because that sunrise should be warm. Yes, I know. I know you lot want feeding. Why does everyone need to be so loud? It's half five. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, there's another one. Hello, good morning. 
and come in. This one gets hand fed because these two are bullies, aren't you? Can you even reach that? So yeah, I'm going to go have a cup of tea now that all the animals are fed and then I will see you to the horses in a little while. They don't need to be done super duper really. Um, Day. I'll go around to them probably about half six ish. I'll go have a cup of tea and grab some breakfast first. But at least that's all of the uh, the farm animals fed for the morning. So because I have no chill, I actually just went round and fed the horses pretty I'm much straight coming, away. I'm coming. So then I went and got brought the box round and started getting everything ready for Snippy for dressage. It's so weird getting ready for like a dressage test or something now when you're so used to eventing and taking so much stuff. I always feel like I forgot something. Um, also, if anyone is here just to watch the event vlog, I have put in the caption of the video the timestamps, so you can literally skip to that if you want to. And um, the options there. Um, if you want to watch Snippy's dressage, then continue watching. I tell you, I need more chestnuts because it's literally taken me about two seconds to get snip presentable. I've cleaned a tail. I mean, you couldn't actually tell it was dirty, but it was absolutely filthy. So, tail's been cleaned, and then I've literally just <laughs> washed off her socks. Um, and yeah, it took me about two minutes. She's got face on because she can hear the feeds being made, can't you? Jade's gonna plait you up, because I'm bad at that. So she can do that, and then you're all ready. All ready to go, Snippadoos. She looks thrilled. So. Gosh, I look like Draco Malfoy when I slick my hair back into a bun. It's not a good look. Not a good look at all. Um, so, we are about to head off to dressage. Jade is just finishing plaiting Snippy up. I am ready, the box is ready. I'm just gonna go give her a little bit of a groom. Um, and yeah, then we will be heading off to Poxthorpe. So in typical George style, we have fast forward in time to my warm up at Foxthorpe. Not gonna lie, it was boiling in this indoor warm up and Snippy doesn't do great with temperature she um she's a hot blooded gal okay and so she was a bit huffy puffy she really did not want to bend today don't know what it was about the bend but she was like no i'm too warm i'm not happy like she just she didn't feel great in the warm-up and i was like mm, okay this could go wrong um and she kept going on the wrong leg which she has not done for months but clearly she was just a bit agitated a little bit like you know, out of her comfort zone. We've not done a dressage test in a year, and that was the first dressage test she ever did. So this is technically her second ever dressage outing, um, in 26 degrees heat, just just what we need. Uh, so yeah, warm up wasn't feeling great, not going to lie. But I thought, you know what? What's it matter? We've come to do an intro and a prelim at a little unaffiliated show. Let's just go, have a bit of fun, have a chill, have a relax. It's all about training and it's all about getting Snip used to going out competing. That is the aim of the day. If we get some nice feedback and a half decent score, then you know what? Wonderful. If not, it's not the end of the world. So last time Snip entered the arena after being in a warm up arena, um, she reared at the judges box. Um, we were actually only show jumping that day, but to say this was her reaction today, she's come a long way since last month. Um, yeah, she actually came in and was a little bit unsettled, a little bit tense and a little bit blocking. Like she kind of blocks through her body sometimes and overbends her head, which she kind of felt like she was doing a bit um, on the trot round. 
but anyway it still looked pretty nice and um, today we are doing intro C which is a 2016 test with the first movement being down the center line and track right for this we got a score of 7.5 and a comment of nice center line which to be fair it was and then next movement is at B to do a 20 meter circle um, in working trot and I was a little bit concerned about my circles with her sort of blocking through her body a little bit but actually we got a 6.5 for this um, and a comment of nice circle so I was really really happy with that. Then what we had to do is trot round and down the centre line um, and then we will be transitioning to medium walk between D and X. Now not her best downward transition, a little bit late and a little bit, I don't know, just not as good as it could be. Um, but we did get a 6 for that and then we have to do a 10 meters to circle left. Um, and give and retake the rain on the second half of the circle. It was only meant to be the inside rain, but I didn't actually read that. Um, but we got a seven for that and then repeat that in the other direction, which again, to say Snippy's bend was my concern today. Um, as you can see, she actually did a very nice 10 meter circle in both directions and we got a seven for both of those. And then we had to um, transition to working trot between X and G and then at C turn left. We got a six for this and a comment of some disruption. Um, and then this corner kind of all just went a little bit wrong and we left the boards because Snippy decided that she was going to throw her back end out. Um, but we recovered, ready for our 20 meter circle at E. And again, she did a really nice circle. She was a little bit tense after um, she kind of threw her haunches out of the arena, but we actually got a seven for that as well. And then moving on to the movement that I was most concerned about was the three loop serpentine. Um, we have been practicing these a lot, but obviously because Snippy's bend is still progressing, it was the thing that I was most concerned for. But actually, she did a very nice free loop serpentine and we got a score of seven for that as well. So she actually did a really consistent test today. Then let's see, it's transition to medium walk. Um, which I, we were well past C there actually for the walk transition, but we still got a seven for that. Then we had to change the rain in free walk on a long grain. Now this started very well. Um, as you can see, the rain is pretty much fully there. She had a little bit of tension in the neck, um, but she was stretching. She just wasn't quite tracking up. And then just as we were about to take our reins back, she trotted and then did a big old spook. Um, so. The comment was nice start pity about spooking we scored a six for that which it was such a shame about the spook because that is a double marker then we had to come down the center line um, which we got a six for due to some tension which was just due to the spook really and then halt immobility salute at x and we got an eight for this and a comment of super halt so we ended on her best mark um, and we actually got some really, really lovely comments from the judge who said quality horse with lovely trot work. When better prepared for movements, her confidence should grow. Just a little tense and spooky in this test, tactfully ridden. And that comment really meant the world to me. She actually finished on a score of 66.52, which I was so happy with. Um, she did actually have a 40 minute break then before her next um test but we didn't film her having the break she went and stood by the box in the shade had a drink we took the tack off we washed her off um and then we got ready for our next test which is a prelim and so in the second one what we worked more on getting her really listening to my aids and when i'm asking for a transition that she does it more immediate than she did um, in the first test i think because she's in a different environment she can tend to not listen to me quite as much so that was what we worked on in the warm-up but to be honest we didn't really do much of a warm-up because i was um more just thinking that it's pretty warm she's getting a little bit annoyed <laughs> like we'll just keep it simple and hope for the best so then in to our test enter in working trot and proceed down the center line this time tracking left um, a really nice centre line, I think, again, and quite a good corner for Snippadoos. Um, and that was a seven, and then H working trot around the arena to A. 
Um, and again, she was pretty good. She had a little bit of a cough there, um, but she got a 7.5 with comment of nice rhythm. Then I have to change the rain FXH. Um, so across the long diagonal, and again, another 7.5, so she came out really, really consistent. And then H, working trot around the arena to A, 7.5 for that as well. They're just, it felt like I was just doing a lot of um, trotting around arena to begin with. Um, so at A, our first movement is circle right 20 meter diameter, and then between X and A to go into canter. Um, so her canter is definitely Snip's weakest of um, her gates um, and we got a 7 for this saying obedient transition although loss of throughness which we know she just doesn't quite have the strength to um, come through yet in that transition and then we do working canter around the arena and then between B and F working trot which we also got a 7 for is a big deal because it's something that's only really in the last couple of months come together and where she's actually able to show some throughness and some um, relaxation across her back and her neck now. So that was really good. So then we had our transition to walk. E, turn right, B, track left, um, and then proceed to trot at M. Um, and this we got a 6.54 with a comment of some tight steps, which yeah, fair enough. And then at C is another 20 meter circle. And on the second half of the circle, we will be then going into canter. So actually a really nice forward trot from Snippy here and she was bending quite well. Um, and then here she sadly did strike off on the wrong leg so we did only score a three for that um, oh no sorry a four and incorrect strike off was the comment I did try and get her back I could feel that she was on the wrong leg um, but she was kind of off and I couldn't really get her back to trot um, so in this corner I did correct it um, and so our working canter around the arena and our proceed to working trot, we got a three, four, and the comment was on right lead for second movement. So we only actually got marked really for the working trot. Um, then we do a medium walk and change the rein on a free, in a free walk on a long grain um, across the short diagonal, which always confuses me a lot. Um, and again, Snippy's free walk is generally quite good. She got a seven for this. She just needs to stop shaking her head. That would be nice, Snip. Um, and then at F, transition to working trot and down the center line to then halt immobility salute at G. And for this one, we got a 6.5 with a comment of a slight loss of straightness. She, it looks from this angle like a really nice halt, but actually she was a little bit like diagonal. Um, but again, really, really pleased with that to say she her canter has only really started developing in the last month um, with a comment of a much better test. Pity about left canter as this was costly in marks. She's got so much potential and she finished that on 64.3%. So that actually placed Snippy second in the intro and sixth in the prelim, which I was so proud of. So guys, I am over the moon with Snip. She was so, so good. We just got back home and I've still got all my whites on, but I've got to ride Percy. I've got to run through his test for tomorrow for his event. Um, we won't film it because Jade's got to read it out for me, but that is what we're doing now. Um, as I said, today has been on start. We've just grabbed a bit of lunch and then we've got to get him ready for tomorrow and get the box ready again. Um, but yeah, really happy with Snip. She got some really, really lovely comments and she, like she can ride them better, but in a test scenario um, and competition scenario, couldn't really have asked much more of her to be fair. Um, but yeah, Percy Piglet's turn now. <laughs> who is less than enthusiastic on your purse. So, oh gosh. Um, we've ran through the test. Percy was really good. Um, it was only a very quick run through just so I knew the test. And now I'm going to give him a good old bath, aren't we, Piglet? Which is it's not his favourite time. But um, got the hippo shower on, just heating that up. 
pretty much heats up instantly. I'm gonna give Puss Pig a good old bath. is bathed and I have actually done his plaits so they're not that bad actually and I've threaded them and normally I don't thread so putting his um, sheet on now but yeah not too shabby not too shabby we don't look at that one we ignore that one don't we purse good morning guys it is now Sunday it's the next day and today we are off eventing honestly it feels like it has been forever <laughs> since I went to venting I think it's been like three weeks four weeks um no it's got to have been more than that but anyway I am very much looking forward to today um there weren't any bees near us so this is actually an unaffiliated event run by pony club we're going just to kind of like keep our eye in um because next month we have possibly three bee events I think I'm only going to put him in for two in the end, but we're considering three. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. It just feels like it's been forever um, since we were on a cross country course. So, I've been running around since half five. It's now nearly seven o'clock. We need to leave at half seven. So, I'm just going to go get Percy now, who you saw had a bath and everything yesterday. And even though he had a bath, he will have got marks on his legs. <laughs> absolutely loves a grass stain does this boy so I'm gonna fetch him up now to give him a little bit of a touch up a little spot clean if you will aren't we piglet give you a little spot clean oh, that sun's bright that sun's bright right So you know it's going to be a good day when Percy comes in from the field this clean. I literally had like a couple of grass stains to rub off his legs and that was it. We were ready to pop him on the box. He's such a little unicorn. He always gets on first time. He's such a good boy. Um, but yeah, ready to go. So we headed off to Buckminster Park, which is a pony club run unaffiliated one day event. I have never been here before at all, um, so I did not know what to expect. What a lovely place it is. Like I always find with the pony club events, they are just very well run. Um, so if you are looking for some unaffiliated, check out your local pony club and what they've got on. Um, 
Percy warmed up. He was a little bit lazy. He wasn't really listening to my leg at all today. I felt like I was just kick, 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 kicking, but he just wasn't listening. I don't know whether it's because we've done BD and you can carry a whip for BD, so maybe I need to not do that. But anyway, he did warm up pretty well other than that. Um, I did, did give him a good canter around the field to try and wake him up a little bit, but it didn't really work. <laughs> Anyway, on to the test, and today I am riding the Pony Club Grassroots PC80 dressage test. I'm not sure if I've ridden this one before or not, but anyway, um, I had to go and let the judge know that the person who was meant to be in front of me hadn't turned up, so he actually went in early, um, which I was happy about, to be honest. I hate waiting for dressage, so off we headed, um, and Perse was in a bit more of a connection and listening a little bit more by this point, so that was good. So the first movement is A, enter in working trot and proceed down the centre line without halting and I'll let you know my score. So I love it when you're riding on grass and there are lines where people have ridden so you know where to go. Um, so we've got a 7.5 for our centre line, not going to lie, Percy was so lazy for this test. Um, then C we track right which we've got a 7 for and then my change the rain M to E so when we cross the short diagonal we've got a 7.5 for um, and then the next movement is at A to ride a 20 meter circle in trot um, and then for this we got a 7 with the comment that he needed to be a little bit more forward that was the running theme of today and then F E we need to change the rain, which is just coming up. Um, because I was kind of concentrating on trying to get him forward, I didn't ride from F. I knew I was short there and that was the feedback. And we got a six for that. And then trotting all the way down. And honestly, Percy Pig, can we wake up please? I thought, oh, he'll have no energy today. Yeah, just, just wait for it guys, just wait. And then we had to do a 20 meter circle also at C. Um, and I've got good at these 20 meter circles. I've done more 20 meter circles since I started venting than I think I've ever done. So for that, we got a seven with the comment of more supple bend needed. Then between C and M is forward to medium walk, which we got a seven for. That was very good for Percy for downwards transition. And then a free walk on a long grain. Um, and then just 4k, got to take my reins up and do a medium walk. And for that, we got a seven, um, more activity and forward needed. Um, fair stretch, I think it says. And then next movement is to go into working trot between K and A, which quite a nice upwards movement really, which we've got a seven for. And then A is circle left 20 meters and after crossing the line and before A, circle working canter left so basically on the second half of my circle go into canter why can't i even read a dressage test i don't know we've got a seven for that as i say percy was very very consistent for literally this entire test um and then at b we have to circle left 20 meters and on the second half of the circle go forward to trot so i really like this test i don't know why but it is a lot of 20 meter circles in fact i think this is the test i did at osby and i stopped because i thought i'd done so many circles that i'd gone wrong we've got a seven for that as well and then we do working trot mch um which he came up a little bit there which he doesn't normally do Anyway, we've got a seven for that. Um, and then we uh, changed the rain on the long rain, um, on the long diagonal even. We got an eight four, very happy with that. And then a, a circle right 20 meters. And again, on the second half of the circle, we have got to go forwards to canter and then canter round to E. And this was a little bit late in the um, going into canter from where I asked him because you know Percy's is feeling lazy today in his dressage and then E another 20 meter circle um, which we got seven by the way for our circle at A and then in the second half of this circle we need to force to walk which we got a 7.5 for um, and then HC working trot which we got a seven for and comment was activity and then M medium walk. So go down to medium walk here. 
which I got a seven for. And then at B, we have to do a half circle 10 meters to X. Honestly, it feels like the longest time when you're walking, Percy. And we got a seven for this with the comment of walk needs more march. And then down to G to halt immobility and salute. Now, Purse did take a step back in his halt, which is a shame because he was actually square to begin with. Um, so that dropped us to five for that, which is probably our worst halt. But actually, overall, he did a very nice, consistent test, just a little bit lazy, and he scored 30 exactly for that. So a very strong eventing test. So after dressage, I had a two hour gap until my show jumping so I'm gonna go and walk the show jumping course and the cross country course now so that was fence one of the show jumping quite um far away fences like you've got some good canter stretches between the fences and there were only eight jumping combinations in this so I think there were nine fences in total because there was on one double but actually yeah there was only eight which um confused me a little bit um, so you start with an oxer and then you come to this really nice upright. Pretty much all of these fences were at uh, Osby, which was the Pony Club and Affiliated that I did. And also Shelford. I feel like I saw a lot of these at Shelford as well. Anyway, over the second fence, round the corner to the left and you come into the Bloomfield um, oxer, uh, which is very nice oxer. And then down the hill to probably the brightest um, fence on course. There also wasn't very many fillers in this. I just thought it was a very nice show tripping course, to be honest. I know some people might not, not like the fact that it is so open. That quite, kind of works for me in purse. Um, so then down to number four, which is the sundown bedding fence, um, quite bright. And then you go past this and take a right to the next oxer, which is this green one coming up here. Um, again, really nice big sweeping lines, nothing going to cause us too many issues line-wise. Um, jump the oxer and then round the corner and up the hill um, to the eco vaults fence. And this is an upright. Um, some horses might find those fillers a little bit spooky, but Purcell already jumped this and he was absolutely fine. So um, yeah, fingers crossed he's absolutely fine again today. Fence seven is an oxer at the top there. Um, to the left but I was like I'm just gonna walk to the final fence and have a look at this because by this point I kind of uh, got a bit bored walking the, the course apparently and finishing on this Agria double um, doubles are my nemesis so I'm going to be working really hard to get over that today so dressage done both courses walked Percy I can't even see what's on the screen Percy eating <laughs> and happy and had lots of water and now making the most of the grass so yeah show jumping course very very nice it's all the jumps that we did at Osby um, cross country it's longer than I thought it was going to be there's more hills than I thought it was going to be and fence 6 scares the bejeebus out of me but other than that it's lovely fence 10 is quite big but that's quite nice um, yeah I think it'll be more time but we're going to give it our all, aren't we, Purse Pig? Um, so yeah, feeling good. Going to go get some food now because I'm starving. And then getting ready for show jumping. So the lack of impulsion is clearly a dressage thing. It's clearly Percy deciding he doesn't want to do dressage. Because when we got into that show jumping arena, he felt mega. He had so much energy and I always, once we've walked and trotted, to get off his back, let him have a good old canter, um, to wake him up a little bit. But he was awake today, like he was he was feeling good. So we got his blood up, got him canter on both reins, and then we started popping some fences. Um, I cannot tell you how annoying everyone was in this warm up. Not the riders, the people on the floor. Um, every time I came to a fence, they were like, just decided to come up and try and adjust the height. Or for some reason on the oxer, they kept taking the back pole off. But like, I literally could not get to the oxer. And I had to tell the person in my class, you're gonna have to wait because I need to get over this oxer first. Um, yeah, that was so annoying. But anyway, we got in there and he was so, so bold up to his first fence. And I loved this canter up the hill. I was like, yes, Percy, go for it. 
And then he did this and put his little baby strides in. Um, he just wasn't too sure of where he was putting his feet on that one. It wasn't even looking at the fence. He was just like, oh, I'm just trying to work my strides out. So I was like, Georgia, get after him. Ride this boy forward. We don't want any of those baby strides because that is when we have a pole. Um, and he was much bolder after that. So I really like was steadying on my turns and then got him really forward a good few strides before every fence and that seems to have really really helped him be much bolder and braver in his show jumping as you can see he was flying around this and I don't think I breathed for the entire course so only the double to go and I remember thinking on this corner just please Percy please don't have this down please don't have this down um but as you can see he actually went clear and I was so happy so a quick hydration stop after show jumping um, and to change Percy's tack and for me to get changed and then we pretty much headed straight into the warm up for cross country. So we are running ahead of time and uh, we are... So Percy was definitely ready to go <laughs> cross country today. He was like, let me at him, mum. Um, at one point I tried to do his girth up and he just would not stand at all. Um, but look, yeah, just like look at that tail. He's like, I'm ready. I'm so excited. Um, and then it came for our countdown and we are off. Um, yeah, just he gave me the most amazing round today. Um, he always kind of hesitates at the first fence and then we were off. Honestly, he was just incredible today um and thankfully an eventful life were there to capture all of it on camera for you so you can see every single thing So the first four were in quite quick succession which I like, I like to get a lot of fences out of the way quickly and then after this one there was a massive uphill gallop so by this point Percy was a little bit tired coming into this double um, which was the houses but he just he jumped it so nicely and then number six was the biggest jump on the course I was terrified of this when I walked it but he jumped it absolutely mega I was so so proud of him he jumped that really nice and it was so wide i wish there was a side shot because honestly it felt like i was jumping 100 fence um and then we had a few little benches um coming around he was a little bit wibbly wobbly into that but we got there and what i felt a massive difference today is his fitness is definitely a lot stronger like we were jumping and then we were galloping away quite easily um i wasn't having to really chase him at all um he was yeah he was just awesome absolutely amazing he gave me the most incredible feeling around the cross country course so this log i remember walking thinking that is probably the biggest log i think i've ever jumped um and it actually seems that the bigger they are they are the better percy is jumping them so I'm not gonna lie it's making me think about running some 90s but it's more the pace for 90 that I'm more concerned about like just making sure he's fit enough and that he can gallop a little bit quicker um, because we are pretty much bang on time for B80 at the minute but obviously the pace is more for 90 and then onto the water Percy is notorious for always going in the water but always slowing down through it so I really did get behind him I always kind of let him trot through it anyway um, a little bit of a let up and then up here over another little bench I believe the next one was and um, which you can just see tiny little dot G in the distance on Percy Pig um, it was such a nice course though I will definitely anytime Buckminster have something on go there can't recommend it enough and Beaver Pony Club run this so so well so this is the second bench which really confused me having two of the same jump on the course because I was like I don't actually <laughs> know which one um, comes first but yeah he jumped that quite nice and we did start to tie here I actually took a wrong turn after that jump which is why we had to trot over this one because I did a u-turn um which so sorry purse like bless him he was in such an amazing rhythm and this was like a little triple but the middle fence was on an angle and he jumped this amazingly I was so so proud of him like 
definitely his experience came into play there. Um, and we were getting a little bit tired towards these final ones, but it was a quite a nice downhill run. So this is the penultimate fence, and I was like, go on, Purse. Um, and yeah, here we are. This is our final, final fence. fence. Great job, nicely, and that's them um, home with a nice clear round. So that's with a nice clear round. I was sobbing coming over that final fence because this is our first double clear. Oh, and what an amazing day it has been. Percy has given me the best feeling all day. He was just incredible. What an absolute unicorn I have. He flew everything today and I could not be prouder of him. Um, yeah, I'm. he just kept me safe. I'm so, so lucky to have him. So now that I've stopped crying, after sobbing over the finish, we went double clear, Purse. And not only did we go double clear, we only got 1.6 for being slightly over time, which was my fault because I may have slightly diverted off, of course. Um, but we're currently sat in third place, which is incredible. Um, so yeah, I am very emotional, very happy, very, very, very proud of this boy. Um, and yeah, just waiting now hear the results um well it looks like we're on the podium what's happening so after what felt like the longest wait in history we got the results and percy came second out of our entire section and was actually only four seconds off first place which is just incredible our first rosette out eventing our first double clear gosh i love this boy and thank you so much for following our journey